So we ought to strive with the mindset that I want to look up to Jesus to be just like him. A amen. What, what if everybody that came into the church, what if everybody was, that was a part of the church wanted to be more and more like Jesus? That, that, that should be our prayer, to be more and more like Jesus. Every morning we, want to, we wake up, we ought to say, Lord, make me more and more like you. And the more Jesus you get in you, the more self gets out of the way. Can I, can I talk a little while? Eh? The more Jesus that gets in the inside and in your heart and in your soul, the more Jesus that you have, uh, the more mindset you're going to have uh, to be just like God. So he calls us to be imitators and not impersonators. Can I talk a little while here? An, an impersonator takes great pain to make people believe that they are who they are not. Can, can I take a look? Hey, help me somebody. Hey, man, help me. Holy God. It was more than about 320. Hey, hey, man, hey, man. That, that came about 320. And I put your name beside the devil. So I got to tell you, devil, that came at 320 this morning. Hey, hey. You are, you are, baby. But I just was up at 320 this morning, and this is what came to me, that sometimes people take great pain to, to make people believe they are who they are not. Too many of us play in the church, want to make people think that we are a child of God, want to make people think that we are, amen, but we're really not who we say we are, amen. And a whole lot of people can look through your fakeness, amen, and see that you are not who you say you are with the mind said of Christ, we are called to be true to who we believe in and let people see Jesus in us. Number two, without the mindset of Christ is no more mirror, mirror on the wall who's the greatest of them all. You remember that saying that too many of us live by that saying, mirror, mirror on the wall? Who's the greatest of them all? Nurse Betty, who are we looking at? Who do you see when you look in the mirror? You see your own self. And too many of us think that we are the bag, the chips, the dip, the salt on the chip. We, we think we're everything. But let me tell all of us something, that if it wasn't for Jesus, we would be nothing. But, but the mindset of Christ you move away from the mirror, mirror on the wall who's the greatest of them all. And when you have the mindset of Christ, it's not about you, but it's about Jesus being glorified and Jesus being magnified. I'm, I'm concerned that too many of us had got to the place in the church that we were glorifying and magnifying everybody else but Jesus Christ. Can I preach a little while this morning? We got to the place that some of us don't even know the name of the church because the preacher is larger than the church. Can I, hey, help me somebody. We had gotten to the place that we glorify the people in the church and we had stopped giving glory to God. Can I talk for a little while? But let me remind all of us who are in leadership, let me remind all of us who are in the church that God don't need you to sing, God don't need you to preach, God don't need you to usher, God don't need you to count the money because the last time I checked, God has all power in earth and heaven in his hand and we ought to be thankful that God takes sin for people like us and use us into his kingdom. Can I talk about because we've gotten to the place to think that it's too much about us but it's not about Jesus Christ but I on, on my way to heaven, I stop by the day to tell you it's not about you, it's not about your title, it's not about how well you can sing. It's not about how well you can preach. It's not about how well you can pray. It's not about how well you can play the instrument, but it's all about Jesus Christ. And if it's not Jesus in it, you might as well throw it out the window. Amen. It's all about Jesus Christ. I got one more.